Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And today I have my fabulous friend and co-star, Frankie. And Frankie has joined me because we were requested by French, French Bulldog, Bulldog Fan 7 to do a duct tape pencil or pen. And so we've come up with another duct tape pencil or and you know, I have a whole bunch on my website, but this is a new one that I haven't done. And this came actually from Duck Brand, does a version of this, mine's slightly different, but I thought that this would be fun and I have to give them credit because they inspired me to create this one. And we don't need a lot to make this, Frankie, okay. but you know, once you, get, once you start getting into it, they're really fun and easy to make, so you can yeah. be making them for all your friends at school. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you how to make one right Oh, no. Okay. For this project, we don't need much. We just need pencils or pen, pipe cleaners, scissors, and duct tape. So, Frankie, we're going to be making ones that look kind of like um, daisy. Yeah, like a daisy. Okay. Yeah, or a black-eyed Susan kind of a look. Okay. And so, if you look on the inside here, it has this kind of like ruffle. Yeah, it's like a ruffle exactly. Okay. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of six-inch. Tape. Now here's the okay. deal. It doesn't have to be black, but we're going to make ours black. And Frankie, what I okay. want you to do is take this piece and we're going to put it sticky side up, okay? Okay. And it is sticky, so I'll let you put it there. There you go. And then we're going to take the other piece, lay and again, top. it's another six inch, and we're going to lay it right on top, but we're leaving about half an inch of sticky, just like that. Now will you smooth that out? Great. And now what we're going to do is take this end, Frankie, fold it over on itself so that you line up edge to edge. There you go. And what you're basically making is like a little tube. So if you hold that up, you can show that it's like a little tube. See that? So it's like a tube with a little bit of sticky on the end here, right? Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is take your scissors and we're just going to cut this little end off here. You want to do that one? Sure. Just cut that little end off there. And now you're going to start fringing it. And so to fringe it, I like to, to put it so that the sticky side's up so I can see where the end is. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to start cutting little tiny fringes like zoop, 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 zoop. And you know, they don't have to be tiny, tiny, skinny. I mean, it can be however you want to do it, right? But you're just going to go zoop, zoop, zoop. Try to stop cutting before you get to the sticky part. But if you okay. cut through it, it's okay. okay. So you're going to cut from this side all the, all the way to the other end. And what you end up with, everybody, is something that looks like a giant eyelash, basically. Do you see the movie The BFG? Not yet. I want to go see it. Yeah. I just did a birthday party about the BFG. Oh. So much fun. But this would Sounds be like good. a giant BFG eyelash. Oh. <laughs> if he was a Las Vegas showgirl. So that's what you're making right now. Okay. And then what we're going to do with that is actually wrap it around the end of a pencil. So as she's doing that, I'm going to do this one here. So you take it and you put it at the sticky end right at the bottom okay. of your eraser cap there and you just rotate it around. It's kind of like, do you ever do the a fancy Thanksgiving party and they have those Brawny things at the end of the turkey legs. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so it kind of looks like that, right? Yeah. So you just keep wrapping it around. And what I like to do is kind of do it at a slight, slight, slight angle so that it opens up just a tiny bit. I mean, I'm doing it at the slightest angle. And when you're done, you end up with a little turkey leg <laughs> or, or a little funny person. Mm -hmm. You put a little eyes there. So that's how you make the inside part. Now while you're doing that, what I'm going to tell everybody is to take a pipe cleaner here and you want to cut this into two inch strips. So they're little two inch pieces. So you would just measure a two inch piece and then you can use that as your template to just keep cutting little two inch pieces. And you need eight two inch pieces of pipe cleaner. Great. So you want to wrap that around? Sure. Go for it. Now while you're doing that, what you do next to make your flower petals is you take six inch pieces of tape and you would need four of these because we're going to make eight petals mm -hmm. for each one. Okay. So we got 
And you could use an X-Acto knife too if you wanted to instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. We cut it right there. And then we actually want them to be one inch wide. So we'd use an X-Acto knife if we wanted to or scissors and just cut straight down the middle to make one inch strips, which I've got right here for us. And we're gonna flip these up so they're sticky side up. How's that going for you? Oh, good, that's doing great. So now you had said to me, I wonder how you make them take on that shape so that they bend oh. while you're ready to learn the secret. Okay. It's the pipe cleaner. Oh, I see. <laughs> so what you do is you line this up. This is where it's great to have one of these work surface mats. So see every one of these squares, Frankie, is an inch. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take my little pipe cleaner piece and at the one inch mark, I'm gonna lay this right in the center of the duct tape strip. See that? Mm -hmm. And then what I'm gonna do is fold this over right on top there. Oh, so it covers the grain. Yep, and I'm just gonna go over top of it, just like that. Ah. So it's just sealed it in there like that. I see. See that? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna let you do one. Okay. okay. Oh, that looks great. Thanks. So there you go, line yourself up and then pipe, cleaner. pipe cleaner's right there for yourself. Yes. So Frankie and I would be making a bunch of these. So you're gonna need eight of them for each pencil. So you might as well do them all at the same time as opposed to doing two and then putting them on your pencil and then two and putting, might as well have them all done ahead of time. So Frankie's gonna fold this over here. That's it. You got it. And you seal it off nice and nice and good. And don't worry if there's a little bit of sticky on the outside because we're gonna cut to make our shape. So while she's working on that, what we're gonna do is from the top, just cut down a little bit on each side. And this is where you can get rid of any sticky that you might have to make a petal shape. Like that. Now, use your scissors. Exactly. And yeah, see, it doesn't really matter because you know what's going to happen, Frankie? You can cut those. And when you trim it and fold it and put it around your petal, it, it, you won't even see it. Yeah. So we end up with eight petals. And now we get to build our pencils. Nice. There you go. That's it. And you can just, just get rid of any of that sticky stuff. So now, Frankie, what I like to do is work kind of in fours, like north, south, east, west. So I start with one petal and I just, and I use this pipe cleaner as my base. I kind of lined it up with my pencil mm -hmm. and I use the sticky part right at the base of my center frondy stuff and I just push it down mm. and wrap it around. Then I flip it over. So let's say that's north, flip it over to south. Uh, and I take south, and I once again line up my, see I've got my pipe cleaner, line mm -hmm. it up with my pencil on the opposite side. So it's almost like ears now, right? Mm -hmm. So now we've got this hole on either side, right? So we got north, south, let's go to west or east, <laughs> either one. And once again, lining it up here, mm -hmm. wrapping it around. You need your pencil. You, you can start too, because you got yours there. And then after I've got my west, then I do my east. Now, if you look at this, Frankie, you can see how there's a hole here. See, there's a hole here, mm -hmm. and a hole here, and a hole here, a hole here. We're gonna do the same thing that we just did. We're just gonna fill in the holes. So this will be my new north. Flip it over. My new south. You don't have to do it this way, but it, for me, it helps me to remember where I have yet to fill in. Because sometimes you look at it and you're like, oh, it, it looks like it's all full. But yeah. if, you, if you keep it kind of organized like this, then you'll be able to make sure that you get them all in the right place. Yeah. And then my last one. So you end up, before you fold them down, they kind of look like a crocus. But here's where it starts to take on the daisy shape. And this is what you wondered about. How do you make it stay? It's the pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. So you just start folding them down and around. Let's 
so cool. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. And you can shape it to whatever shape you want there. And then to finish it off, you just take a couple little pieces of one by one inch square green tape and you can just wrap that around the bottom just to lock it in on either side. Oops, sorry, Frankie. I'm going to reach down there and get that other square. And that is really all there is to making a fabulous sunflower daisy pencil. And this was requested, see if we can remember, French, French Bulldog, Bulldog Fan 7. Seven. So French Bulldog Fan 7, this is why I have Frankie, because she has a much better memory than me. French Bulldog Fan 7, this duct tape pencil is for you. And for more ideas and suggestions that come from you, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. If you like us, give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> exactly. And if you've got ideas that you'd like to see turned into videos, make sure you write them in the comments below. And if you have something nice to say about uh, Frankie's nails, you can put it down there below too. <laughs> and check us out. sophie-world.com.